All right, people. Welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today I felt like using Super Vice, which is generally on Friday, but this deck, I mean, it's just so shaky now. You know, ever since the level chain got banned, I just, I, I really haven't, I really haven't wanted to play it just because, you know, it requires a lot of setup. You know, if there's generally one or two monsters to send to the graveyard, I don't mind that. I can do that. But this deck, it leads at least two to three. You know, uh, you know, send you Bell, send the Tinker, send the Doom Shaman. So it's 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 just mm -mm 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 sometimes and you know unless I open up really fine like this it's a pretty good hand it's not the greatest because you know thank God I got dark refer but you know drawing E Bell in this deck isn't as bad as other decks just because Doom Shaman can summon the E Bell out of my hand but uh, it's all about Doom Shaman it's all about Doom Shaman and, and I'm just worried about this deck getting hit you know yeah. Mr. Tomato the the MVP of heroes. <laughs> Mr. Tomato is too strong, of course. You know, I'm not the biggest fan, but at least it helps me with my, with my consistency. Like I said, there's really no point in me playing, uh, uh, like, Summoner Monk. I mean, Summoner Monk, Pitch a Spell, Summon Armageddon Knight, going to nothing. You know? it's not, I don't even play uh, uh, Mask Million in this deck, so. Great. Dark Worlds, yay. And by Dark Worlds, I mean, fuck. <laughs> I don't like Dark Worlds. Like nothing about Dark Roads. I don't like that they're all up in my hand. I don't like that they're all up in my grill. But here we go, people. Here we go. Alright, Jeffrey Kaufman just card up to three monster cards. One, two, three. Alright. Okay. So, graph effect, beige effect, 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 chain resolves backwards, hold on. Because they're all going off at the same time, so it's effect, 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 so he did a beige effect, so beige is chain link 3, chain link 2, chain link 1, so even if I chain the call of the haunted and summon, I'm still going to get destroyed, and I won't be the last thing to resolve in the chain, so, because uh, the summoning of beige is the last thing in the chain. Mm. I'll keep these two for right now. God, I hate Dark Worlds. I still, I still, they're like, I think they're like my third most hated deck. You know, at least Skill Drain is that one. <sighs> just like, oh yeah, Grapha, you know, that's a that's an awesome idea to just be able to go ahead and just keep on just, oh yeah, Grapha, that, that's cool. I said my opponent's about to beat my ass right now. He still hasn't even used Gates Effect, so he can go Gates Effect, Banish, discard the Grapha, pop my monster again, turn the Bage, Special Summon, Normal Summon, because he hasn't even Normal Summon, turn the Bage, Summon another Grapha, like... Cannot stand Dark Worlds, they're fucking annoying just because of Grapha. I would not mind Dark Worlds if it wasn't for Grapha. It's what Grapha, it's Grapha, I hate Grapha, because it's a stupid monster. So it's like, oh yeah, you can summon it from your graveyard by turning a Dark World, like what? Why, why not, like, banish a Dark World? Why return a Dark World? Like, really? Really? Well, there goes fucking 6,000 points of damage to me. And I really got nothing for fucking Grapha. So next turn, I guess I'll go ahead and summon Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, summon u -Bell, and summon Terror. But, you know, what the fuck is that gonna do? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Never mind, fucking more. More than fucking. I think that might be game, actually. Special summon Grapha, normal summon the beige again. They all gain 300 additional attack. That's 3,000, 3,000. That's 6,000 right there. That's 27. It could have ended the duel. Yeah, could have ended the duel. You could have won. You could have won because you didn't normal summon. So you could have just normal summon that beige and attack. So you could have literally took me from fucking ten thousand to fucking zero. FTK, FTK my ass. At least I know all your cards now. Nope. You could have won.
Like I said, you, you're probably still going to have this, but at least I'll make you have to get on my terror first. Usually it wouldn't be too terrible, because I can, I, if he didn't have these graphics on the field, I could actually take them. It's a Gemini. Then I could actually take the graphics out of his graveyard because it says one picture I can first summon one fiend type monster from the hand or either player's graveyard. So I can actually take this graphic. Just I doubt the graphics are going to be in the graveyard still. So I'm going to wipe. He's still going to go in the graveyard. It's just that, you know, he can go ahead and go gate effect, banish, uh, drop, summon, return, summon graph, a normal summon, return, summon graph up. Uh, and then maybe exceed these two into something. They're both eight, so I don't know, like a fell grand or something. Like I said, I'm probably still going to lose this duel, but. Eh. I said, if only I fucking uh, had Tinker in the graveyard instead of Eval. Elephant. Effect. I'm gonna effect. Bell effect. I'll go ahead and summon Terror. Terror effect. So I wish I had something to go ahead and take out the gates. I wish I had Tinker. If I had Tinker, I could have handled this situation much better. Because some of the fucking Beals. Like, what does this fucking do against Beals? <sighs> Alright, drawing into one unknown. So, like I said, are you just gonna go gates effect, banish, summon? Oh no, you could just top deck Dark Mode dealings. I mean, it'd be the same result. I need this Armageddon Knight. I really do. I need this Armageddon Knight and Ethan Tinker. God, I hate Dark Worlds. I only have one original type of monster in your graveyard, which of course he has all fiends. So they all go up by 800 attack. All the monsters are the same that you control, so. Awesome. You said you opened up pretty stupid, so. You should be able to go ahead and wrap this duel up, because you used up all the cards, and yet you still opened up really well. Beige again. Turn beige. Summon another Grapha because Konami's totally like, yeah, summon from the graveyard for no cost at all. Summon 3,000 beaters for nothing. Cool story. Fucking Konami. See these two and two. I have no idea. What's a what's a rank eight that can do something to me? Oh yeah, he could just attack me directly. Yep. That was an annoying door. Let's go ahead and get a different one in. That was annoying. I forgot about that card. Completely forgot about that card. GG. By GG, I mean no. <laughs> Still don't like Dark Worlds. Okay. I'm not terrible. I'm terrible. Go ahead and Foolish. Let's deck them a little bit. So I might be able, if I'm lucky, I might be able to send them all to the graveyard, depending on, you know, what I reveal with this pot. Definitely gonna go ahead and get on and get it, Knight. Now I'll go ahead and reveal this pot. Yeah, I'll play pot before him again tonight, just in case I get one with two, like a Doom Shaman or something. Alright, send Doom Shaman. Alright, well, I'll probably grab that U-Bell. Yeah, U-Bell is fine. So this way I can go ahead and send them all to the graveyard. I've got normal summon. Alright. Pitchy Bell and Sam Tinker, another all, all 
Uh, three of them are in the graveyard. Got one Oasis, though. We got one Revival card. Only one Revival card. The Snuggles are real. It really does suck that I fucking missed timing on that fucking Call of the Haunted when it came to Ubel. Please don't be infinity dot deck. Come on. Really? It's infinity dot deck. I don't want to do this shit. No, no, no. I don't I don't want to do this infinity. No. No one wants to do against fucking infinity. GG like no. Fucking hate versus versus T OCG deck. OCG is fucking OP as hell. Everything that I have in OCG is busted as fuck. I keep that shit in OCG land. I don't want to do OCG. 11 minutes into this fucking video and I can't get a decent duel win. Like I said, and with, you know, Teller Knight's pop getting hit on after, after fucking World. If they hit Rota, then I'm, I'm about to just throw this deck away. Like, that, that's it. That'd be, the, that'd be the last straw. I'll be polite and say you too, but I seriously doubt I will. So. No, I'm going first. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and grab that arm again tonight. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and pot first just to see. But one terror, hell no. But one silent doom, I guess. Do I want Oasis? I'll take the Oasis. I was hoping to reveal like a Doom Shaman or a Tinker or Ubel. That way, get more use out of Dark Graffer, but it's fine. Doesn't mean I changed my plans. Oh. Uh, yeah, it's. Drop Infinity on me first turn. GG? Like, no. No, that wasn't even the game. You really just sacked the hell out of me with fucking Infinity. That's like everybody else likes to do. And this is a stupid busted card. And the stupid thing is, even if they ban it in OCG, we're uh, playing on a TCG list, and so I'd still have to deal with Infinity either, even if they ban it in OCG. Just one of those things that you can get away with using using uh, OCG plans and idea cards and ideas on a TCG list, because in OCG, uh, limit. Uh, What's it called? Instafusion. Instafusion is at uh, one because no, but here, yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah, three, 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 three. Uh, go ahead and activate Oasis. Let me back that arm again tonight before the back row can touch me. We'll go ahead and drop that Doom Shaman. I'm glad I got this Dark Greffer, it'd be awesome if I can go ahead and exceed into a little wobble chain and send Tinker, but of course I can't do that, so. The least thing I can do, I guess, is just summon Dark Greffer and attack over him. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's an Icarus attack back there. I guess we'll find out. I forgot they had that card. I mean, I can actually see these two into like a Castell or something, but what the fuck would that do? What the fuck would that do? Oh, go ahead. So I get a box scene. I would definitely go ahead and exceed until I wall a chain and send Tinker, but.
tomato, tomato. It's fucking hella slow. But I guess I could take the door a little bit slower than usual. I mean, I can go ahead and activate the call Haunted Summon Armageddon Knight, Armageddon Knight, Sun Tinker, so that's set up. Then I can summon Mr. Tomato. If I see, I'll have one, two, three, four, towards one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that wouldn't be terrible. If that shit hits the fan, I'll still be okay. Go ahead and drop that tinker. I'm summon that mystic tomato. You want a curse attack? I don't know when you want an Icarus attack, that's what I'm saying. Let's do those two. Let's take the powerful. Exiton. Get my effect on. Detach and wipe. Once you turn this card cannot be destroyed by spell traps, okay. The Icarus attack triggers. You have five and I have four, so I'm gonna wipe unless this card is something to stop my Exiton. I'm totally set with these two next turn. Okay. What do you do? When a face up black green monster, you can choose a draw by card effect to the cover, except during depth, so you can special this card from your hand. When a monster synchro summon in this card is synchro material, the owner of this card cannot the opponent of this card's owner cannot activate card their effects. Period? Is that just permanently like I can't activate cards or effects? That's really weird. Hmm. I might try to fuck this up because I really don't want him to sync with that. What do I go into? That's the question. I can go into Scrap Dragon. Yeah, I can activate Silent Doom, Silent Doom, Summon Doom, Shaman, activate Super Vice, Quip, go into Scrap Dragon, Scrap, Destroy, Destroy, yeah. That might be best. Just so it's because, I don't know. The way that reads, it just looks like if you use that as a synchro material, this card, the opponent of this card's owner cannot activate cards or effects. Like, period? Like, I can never activate cards or effects again? Like, what kind of fucking bullshit card is that? Like, who made this card if that's really what it does? I might have to fucking look up and not look that card up. <laughs> Shit. Synchro Shotgun. Let's go ahead and scrap and dragon. Then it would be Supervise, Fat, and Tinker. Hell no. Hell no. That would be a terrible... That's always a terrible draw, but especially now. Watch him have another one. <laughs> Watch him have another one. I don't need the Axiton anymore. I'm up on resources, so... Dexter Gacky. Go ahead and top deck Regacky. Buzzard Effect. Go ahead and summon one of these guys. Up yep, summon a level 4. Go into like Goyo Guardian. Run over my Doom Shaman and take him. Oh, nothing. What do you want? I 
That's fine. I don't even need scrap dragon. <laughs> I don't even need them. Then don't you get like an additional normal summon or something? I don't need Armageddon Knight. Definitely don't need Armageddon Knight. So I guess Beals would be pretty good right now. Yeah. Or Crimson Blader. No, no, mm. That's a tough one. That really is a tough one. Yeah, Beals. Definitely Beals. If I can get some revival, that would be great. I would really appreciate it. No, I don't. I don't need Rota. Definitely not. Ah, you got that clue? Even if you do, I'm fine because I'm just gonna get stronger. All right. Seriously, I thought he was gonna maybe go into a Goyo Guardian, but I forgot that I had nothing, 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 nothing. Cool. Now the only question is, should I, should I overextend like that? I'm gonna hold on to this just in case shit hits the fan. I'm gonna go ahead you. So I'll go ahead and drop. Fucking, they're all bad to draw. Really, they're all bad to draw. Attack. Attack. Dang. Doom Shaman wouldn't have done enough anyway, even if I did swing a memory him. Dang. Summon Pinaka, special summon Bara, Synchro Shokan, E2, or Master again? Oh! Hawk Joe. And then just this is when it's just special summon. Yep, special summon period. <coughs> so you burn me and then minus me eight hundred, but then build effect. I took burn damage, so I got back up to 8,000. That did nothing. <laughs> so what does just say during either player's turn when your opponent activates a card or a card effect that targets only this card? Card effect that targets only this card or when your opponent targets this card for an attack. You can... Target one of the black remotes you control. That would be an an appropriate target. The card effect now targets the new black, the new target. Let me say once per turn. It says you can. Oh, there it is. No, it just says you can target. Oh, so you can target one. Of Oh, okay, you use each of the effects once per turn. Okay. Uh, what did you search for, Finata? Finata? I didn't say. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and go into Scrap Dragon, and like I said, it really doesn't matter. All it... All Joe does is just slap the target to someone else, but you're still going to get blown up, so that's all I really care about. Oh. <clears throat> Activate swing. You know what? Maybe I should just go for tear. Yeah, just go for tear. Doom Shaman. Use my normal summon for that. That. Go ahead and summon your bell. Set this. In case destroyed, effect, destroy, effect, 
Implementer. These two die simultaneously. I'm not targeting, so. And Beals, of course, cannot be destroyed by Cardified, so. Now you gotta deal with Beals and Terror. That works. Go ahead. Yeah, I was thinking about going to Scrap, but this is, this is a safe route. Even if he does anything that I can't handle with Beals, Terror will have me covered. And I, can, I, and I still have this oasis. Oh, I already used Scrap Dragon. That was Synchro Summon properly, so I can go ahead and summon Scrap Dragon back with the Oasis instead. Same result. Same result. I said, it just depends on what he does this turn. Well, if it's bottomless or warning or something, then I still got it. So, I think I might have this still. I'm gonna activate Oasis. Summon Dim Shaman. It's bottomless, I still got it. So, I'm going to use my normal summon back. Sorry. Go ahead and summon Pinker. I'm gonna go set this. Sync 8. Go into Void Ogre, and of course, Void Ogre can negate. Tinker Effect, put the top card. Do I want an Oasis? Sure, I'll take an Oasis. And Void Ogre, attack for game. Ah. Whew! Beat Blackwing, it's cool. It was a bad Blackwing player, too, but hey, I still won. I did it. Alright people, I'm gonna go ahead and call it episode. So, like I said, Super Vice is fine, it's just it takes a little bit to set up, you know. So, you know, hopefully they don't hit Rota. Hopefully Rota stays at 3, because I need Rota in this deck. And if I'm lucky, maybe give me back with Lolo Chain, because maybe, hopefully you just ban it for Worlds, or maybe you just ban it because it's Lolo Chain. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, to me, it just seemed like taking a card from 3 to 0 was a little bit extreme. You know, like, uh, reason I could see that is because Worlds. You didn't want Lolo Chain to be busted in Worlds like it was in 2014. So maybe since the world is over, maybe you'll go ahead and give me chain back. If not, then that's fine too. But don't take my Rota too. Like, I'm I'm still trying with this supervised deck. You know, this is this is my deck that I use in real life, and don't I have so many Doom Shamans. And <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. So of course, no vomit why over the weekend. That's when you get leak. But I will be back Monday. Like I said I'm still going to get the gist of what lineup I want to go with. Uh, like I said, uh. I want to keep Yubao train, so that'll probably stay. But I'm also kind of liking Shadal Yubao, and I'm also kind of liking Gradle Yubao, so those two might hop on. Uh, not sure how I feel about Labradite Yubao. Yubao Xyz will probably get taken off, because that deck takes a little bit too much setup, and it, it it's, yeah. So that probably, deck will probably get taken off. Um, not sure about Cosmic Yubao. Not sure about that. Um, Super Vice, like I said. They're, I want it to work and I want it to make it better, but you know, there's not much I can do with it. You know, there's only so much I can do with it. So, uh, so decks that'll probably definitely stay on Vibe Wire are definitely Yu Bell Uh Should all Yu Bell, I, I want to stay. Great old Yu Bell. Uh, is there any other Yu Bell decks that I played that I'm just like, yeah, that's, you can probably stay? Not sure. I'll have to take a look, but I don't know. I'll make a decision. So. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions for Yubao decks that you want to be on Vitamin Y, go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. But I want to get back to a more structured uh, Vitamin Y, because I, I, you know, these last two weeks I've literally just been going off of this, whatever I feel like using. So, and I don't want, I, I'm, I'm a very structured person, I need to have a structured lineup. So, let's go ahead and figure out what we want to do for the lineup. Alright people, thanks for watching.